Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the Electric Eel Wheel Nano Upgrade Kit. So this takes an Electric Eel Wheel Nano 1.X and upgrades many parts of it to an Electric Eel Wheel Nano 2. Not all of the parts. First, let me show you what comes in the kit. This is the kit that's included with the uh, Kickstarter if you select this option. So um, it'll have six of the threaded bobbins, the same bobbins that come with the Nano 2. It'll come with a power cord and USB plug and a switch, just like would come with a Nano 2. It comes with a Nano 2 flyer. I'll be sending out the black one with the gray sliding hooks. This will be the same flyer again that ships with the Nano 2. And lastly, there's the Nano 2 motor and circuit board. So those are the parts that come with it. Uh, to do this change, you're gonna need a, a pretty small Phillips and flat screwdriver. And lastly, you'll want either a 3D printer, which I use to make this piece, and I'll release the files for this uh, piece. The description on where you can get this part, uh, if you wanna print it, will be in the video description. But it's also very easy to cut something like this. You could even cut it out of cardboard, but if you've got some kind of plastic or something, it's pretty much just a... Uh, little rectangle, so it would be easy enough to make something like this out of wood or, or plastic. If you're starting with a Nano 1.0, you will have uh, you have slightly different screw holes for the motor, and you'll actually have to enlarge them slightly, and I'll have a video to that in, or a link to the video of that in the description of this video, because that's something a lot of Nano 1.0 users have already done. It's pretty easy, but um, for this video, I'm assuming you have a Nano 1.1 case, which doesn't require any modifications like that. The uh, first thing you'll do is just pop off the old flyer and you want to take the bearings off of it. You can set that aside. Then there's this dial on it. You just can pull that off. And at this point, you're going to want to take out the old motor and circuit board. So to do that, uh, first I'll use the regular screwdriver in here just to loosen the motor wires. After doing that, you can pop out those wires. You can pull off the pulley on the motor. If you have trouble doing that with your hands, you can use a, a flathead screwdriver but I find I can just do it with my hands pretty easily. And then I'm using a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws on the motor. Actually, I only have one screw in this one. It's a returned unit, so. Um, but normally you'd have two screws there. Okay, so you can set aside the motor. And next, you'll just want to take out the circuit board. So you're taking the Phillips screwdriver, just taking out these two screws that hold it in place. It's a little tricky to do this on the camera, but hopefully everything's in frame. So I just took out the two Phillips screws and it came out. Now I'm going to put in the new circuit board. So at this point I'm just sort of reversing the steps that I've already done. So just putting in the screw over here and screw number two. Oops. Here's screw number two. Now I'm putting the motor in place. There's two screws that hold it in place. So the next step is just to plug the motor into the circuit board. And this one doesn't require a screwdriver like the previous one. You just plug it in like that. And there's only one way you can plug it in so you can't get the wires reversed.
I'll put the dial back on like that. And at this point, I will now show you what this little plastic piece I 3D printed. I mentioned this at the beginning. You can either cut this yourself or you can 3D print it. The one that I 3D printed, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it has like these two little notches on it. And those will be uh, towards the top. It just helps me align it and maybe holds the uh, USB plug. So the whole point of this is you can see that the USB plug has a, a large gap around it and um, it should have some support so that it doesn't get knocked out. And in order to do that on the new case, I didn't make the hole so big, but on your older case, you need to put in something. So I made these um, little plastic pieces and it just kind of sits in there. What you'd want to do after setting it in there is you'd want to probably glue that little plastic piece in place. So what I would do is I'd take some super glue and just on the inside put just a, maybe like two or three drops of the super glue to hold that white piece in place. And again, since you're 3D, if you're 3D printing it, you can use any color that you have for your 3D printer. Or um, if you're cutting it out of something, you could you could even paint that piece to uh, match a little bit better. But for this video, actually having a nice white piece like that makes it very obvious what's happening and easier to see in the video. So that's what I'm doing. Then at this point, you just got to finish a few things. So you put the motor pulley on. You take the bearings from the other flyer and you'll want to install those. Oh, let's put a bobbin on it. Here we go. And you slot it in place and you should be good to go. You just take your USB cord and plug it right in here and you're ready to spin with your upgraded Nano. So hopefully that helped you see how the upgrade kit works Thanks for watching.